Hello students, welcome to the next session of the MCQs on the genetics, particularly on the chromosomal disorders. So the first question we say here is, following picture is of a child born to 38 year old mother. So here particularly one thing which is being given is mother age is above 38 years. Delivery of the full term child is uncomplicated. There were no adverse events to in the pregnancy. Most likely etiology of this finding is. Now first we need to make a diagnosis here. And if the diagnosis you say here, if you look here particularly, there is upward slant of palpebral fissure. There is the upward slant of the palpebral fissure. One thing we are getting here is this. If you see here, this is the mid facial hypoplasia. Mid facial hypoplasia, which you can say so called there is depressed nasal bridge, but there is mid facial hypoplasia. And if I extend it like this, what you come to know, there is also low set ears. There is also low set ears. Along with this, the mouth is open and there is protruding tongue. All of them make a presumptive diagnosis of trisomy 21. That is the Down syndrome. Trisomy 21, that is the Down syndrome. So most likely, it is a case of trisomy 21, that is the Down syndrome. And what is the cause? If you look at particularly the causes, uh, as the mother age advances, chances of non-disjunction increases. Chances of non-separation of chromosome increases. Right? So basically, if you think that either it can be meiotic or mitotic and most likely is the meiotic non-disjunction. Most likely it is the meiotic non-disjunction. So the answer to question number one is the choice number C that it is due to the meiotic non-disjunction which has resulted in the trisomy, which has resulted in the trisomy, right? So that is the answer to the question number one. Then we go to the question number two, which of the following entities associated with Wilms tumor is a disorder of genomic imprinting, right? So you all know Wilms tumor can be seen in back with Wiedemann syndrome, can be seen in Danish Dress syndrome, can be seen in WAGR syndrome, Vagar syndrome. So in all of these three conditions, you can get is the Wilms tumor. Now our question here is out of this, which of the following can be due to genomic imprinting? And the answer is back with Wiedemann syndrome. The answer here is back with Wiedemann syndrome. There is involvement of the region chromosome 11 is particularly affected. What happens is maternal region is imprinted. Maternal region is imprinted and the location is 11 P15. Normally this maternal region is imprinted. But if there is overexpression of this maternal region, overexpression of the maternal region, there is increased amount of insulin growth factor 2. There is increased amount of the insulin growth factor 2, right? So normally this region which is derived from the maternal chromosome is imprinted. But if there is loss of imprinting or there is overexpression of this region, there will be overexpression of insulin growth factor 2. So if there is overexpression of insulin growth factor 2, what you are going to get is, you are basically going to get that the particular thing, the growth will be more. So what you get in the child is, there is hemihypertrophy. There is hemihypertrophy. There is macroglossia, there is macroglossia, there is organomegaly. 
देयर इज ऑर्गेनो मिगैली एंड देयर इज ऑम फेलोसिल देर इज ऑम फेलोसिल राइट सो आउट ऑफ दिस थ्री इट इज द बैक विद विडिमैन सिंड्रोम विच इज अ डिसऑर्डर ऑफ जिनोमिक इम्प्रिंटिंग राइट क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री फॉलोइंग पेडिग्री इज शोइंग दी फिनोमिन ऑफ और इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन विच यू कैन इजिली जज हियर द डिजीज वॉज एट फिफ्टी फाइव ईयर्स हियर द डिजीज इज एट फोर्टी एट एंड देन इन द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन द ऑनसेट ऑफ डिजीज इज अर्लियर सो वट यू आर बेसिकली गेटिंग इज द अर्ली एज ऑफ ऑनसेट ऑफ डिजीज इन सक्सेसिव जनरेशन there is early on age of onset of disease in successive generation and this is the phenomenon which you call as genetic anticipation this is genetic anticipation which is seen in trinucleotide repeat mutation trinucleotide repeat mutation may be fragile x syndrome may be spino cerebellar ataxia मे बी फ्रेडरिक अटेक्सिया मे बी हंटिंगटन स्कोरिया मे बी मायोटोनिक डिस्ट्रॉफी ऑल ऑफ दोज डिसऑर्डर्स विच आर ड्यू टू ट्राई न्यूक्लियोटाइड रिपीट म्यूटेशन दे शो द फिनोमिन ऑफ एंटिसिपेशन एज द पर्टिकुलर जनरेशन एडवांसिस टू थिंग हैपन्स वन देर इज इंक्रीज इन द सिवियरिटी ऑफ डिजीज एंड सेकेंड देर इज अर्ली एज ऑफ ऑनसेट एंड दिस इज ड्यू टू इंक्रीज इन द try nucleotide repeats this is due to increase in the number of the try nucleotide repeats so as the number of the try nucleotide repeats increases right that basically shows the phenomenon of anticipation that shows the phenomenon of the anticipation moving on to the next question question number 4 a one month old child has the following facial features microcephaly hypertelorism that means there is so called widened nasal bridge because distance between the two called two said eyes is increased downward slanting palpebral fissure that is a important clue downward slanting low set poorly formed ears right examiner is given a pansystolic murmur is seen so pansystolic murmur is heard in the vsd it is heard in the mr it is heard in the tr right so most likely it can be a case of the ventricular septal defect now if you see this question first thing might come to you is the down syndrome because down syndrome has got microcephaly hypertelorism can be there low set ears can be there pansystolic murmur can be there but what is not seen in the down syndrome there is upward slanting of the palpebral fissure there is upward slanting and here particularly it is given is the downward slanting of the palpebral fissure here what is given is the downward slanting of the palpebral fissure and this becomes basically what we call as the cradushed syndrome cradushed syndrome right so this is the cradushed syndrome which is associated with deletion of short arm of chromosome 5 deletion of short arm of chromosome 5 now if you see here this is the wide spaced eyes that is hypertelorism is there but what is important is downward slant of the palpebral fissure other than if you look at the face particularly if you look epicanthal folds there is short broad nose this all can be taken as the features of down syndrome but what is seen here is the downward slant of the palpebral fissure second thing if you look here is there is also low set ears low set ears and low set ears can very well be seen in down syndrome there is excess of the nuchal skin that is again a feature of the down syndrome but while solving the mcqs please pick up the clue and the clue here says there is downward slant of palpebral fissure and all the facial features the diagnosis goes in favor of cri du chat syndrome right so that is the thing which we remember here so the right answer to this question goes in favor of what there is deletion of short arm of chromosome 5 
deletion of short arm of chromosome 5. Here also in this syndrome, there is presence of VSD and there can also be presence of PDA, right? So, pan-systolic murmur can very well be heard in this condition also. Moving on to the next question, male child 46 XY chromosome has short stature, low posterior hairline, shield like chest, cubitus valgus and is mentally retarded. Now, if I just forget the male and the karyotype being given, I concentrate on short stature, low posterior hairline, shield like chest, cubitus valgus and ment sorry, also mental retardation if I forget, all these four points goes in favor of what? Turner syndrome. But Turner syndrome are always female. Here what it is being given is a male child with 46 XY chromosome, male child plus mental retardation is being given. And this becomes a case of Noonan syndrome. This becomes a case of Noonan syndrome. Noonan syndrome shares many things with the Turner syndrome. Both are short stature. Both are having low posterior hairline, shield like chest and cubitus valgus. But what is the difference is Noonan syndrome and Turner, if I count the difference, this is autosomal dominant. So can be male, can be female, but Turner syndrome are always female. They are always female. Noonan syndrome, the most common congenital heart disease is pulmonic stenosis, mainly affecting the right side of the heart. But here in the Turner syndrome, it is the most common is particularly the bicuspid aortic valve disease. So this is mainly affecting the left side of the heart, right? Then the next thing here is, third thing, in Noonan syndrome, mental retardation is present. In Turner, there is no mental retardation. So this becomes a case of the Noonan syndrome. And if it is a Noonan syndrome, the right answer has to be the pulmonic stenosis. So the right answer here is the pulmonic stenosis, right? So always solving the MCQs, don't be in a hurry. Please pick up the clues and then you will definitely come to know the right answer. Thanks.